A grand jury in New York is hearing more testimony today as it weighs a decision whether to indict former President Donald Trump. This after the former president claimed he would be arrested on Tuesday, so tomorrow. And he also called for protests around the country as a result. But even though questions do remain about when or if the former president will in fact be indicted, officials in New York are now making preparations. NBC's Alice Barr reporting from Washington. No charges yet, but the political fallout is already underway, with former President Trump preparing for the possibility of becoming the first former U.S. president to be indicted for a crime. A Manhattan grand jury hearing from more key witnesses today as it weighs whether Mr. Trump should face charges in a hush money investigation involving adult film star Stormy Daniels in the weeks leading up to the 2016 election. It's not the hush money payment itself, no. it's the way it's documented. The former president predicting on his social media over the weekend that he would be arrested Tuesday, though a spokesman clarified he has not been notified he will be charged. Mr. Trump and his allies attacking the Manhattan district attorney, with House Republican leaders now asking him to testify before Congress. Stop going after people because you have political differences. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy also urging people not to protest, something former President Trump did call for. Law enforcement in New York is on high alert. Complicating any potential prosecution, Mr. Trump has declared he's running for president again. Potential rivals, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, joining the Republican chorus slamming the investigation, though DeSantis added this. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. It all comes as the Trump legal team filed paperwork today in a separate case, seeking to block potential prosecution of the former president and allies for allegations they tried to illegally overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. Key questions remain. If and when former President Trump will be indicted, more detail about the basis for those charges and whether an indictment would hurt or possibly help the former president's next run for the White House. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.